Hi everyone. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Cho from the Toronto Concussion Clinic and today we're going to show you another exercise, it's a simple one. Uh, it's building off the exercises we showed you where you're becoming aware of your base of support and your center of gravity and learning how to judge the relationship between the two and learning how to control your center of gravity within, your base, within the context of your base of support. So when we're starting to do a lot of balance exercises with people, a common thing that kind of pops up is that they tend to kind of clamp up their necks. You know, when you feel unstable or you feel the world is moving, the neck can get clamped up and get kind of tense. When it gets tense like that, it can kind of fester and create a lot of pain for people and lead to headaches. And it can also, you know, you talk to vision therapy, uh, doctors they'll, they'll tell you that neck issues will often um, interfere with vision therapy exercises. It also um, interferes with balance and movement because if you're too stiff, you know you can't move in a way that keeps you agile and uh, more fluid. So um, the, we've sh I think we've done videos before, and if not, we're going to look after them. We're going to do them where we showed you how to activate the deep cervical muscles and how to use them uh, when you're looking down, up, left, right, and how to change the way you move so that you're leveraging more of the deep muscles and the core muscles uh, when you're doing those movements. And when you're using the core movements, uh, core muscles, you're also going to be using a lot of the muscles down here and down here and integrating it with your breath. So. Uh, I'll just run you through something that we commonly do with patients. So oftentimes we're getting them to start uh, balancing themselves and so I'm just going to pick up from an exercise I showed you before where they're standing like this. Obviously for many of you to kind of make it a meaningful balance exercise you may need to stand like this or like this or on foam to make it challenging enough. But just, you know, just to keep it simple I'm just going to start like this. Some people do find this even um, dizzy and they feel unstable in this position. And then, you know, we taught you very efficient ways of moving in this position. And when people kind of stiffen up their neck too much, they'll be like, like this, and they won't be able to do it, and it's all stiff. We'll really give them feedback to keep it loose and activate those deep cervical flexors that we showed you before. So there are muscles way deep in here that we showed you in a previous video. And it's kind of like you're kind of protruding the top of your head up, kind of like Inspector Gadget, kind of, kind of like that. So, and it, so once you activate those deep muscles and then you learn to activate the transverse abdominis, we showed you a video on that, and maintain the breathing, the diaphragmatic breathing, while you're doing all that, it helps impart a lot of stability, and it also offloads your neck a lot. And we get people to let their neck breathe with their movement, so You'll see as they come down, the eyes don't stay up like that, but it, the spine stays straight. And as they come up, the spine always takes up space. So that way they can learn to offload those superficial muscles that cause all that pain and kind of. Um, um, cause the problems I was talking to you about before while they're still um, staying true to working on their balance and uh, staying relaxed. Um, 
I think that's all I want to say about that. So I hope that was helpful for all of you. And uh, stay tuned for our next video where we run you through some more exercises that we find to be successful uh, for patients on the road to recovery. Take care, everyone.